Folks, Tim Fasano here. Last week I was contacted by a, a Bigfoot researcher, Daniel Perez, who operates and publishes the, the Bigfoot Times newsletter. And it's still sent out the traditional way of United States mail. He has an ex excellent reputation. He does a fantastic job. And he's a real researcher. He doesn't uh, in speaking with the man, I know that he does not deal in rumor and innuendo. He deals with facts and information and what is known compared to what is, is unknown. He clearly avoids the politics that are involved in the, in the Bigfoot community, which you know are rampant. Mr. Perez does not get into name calling. He does not get into disparaging comments, polemics, pejoratives. He doesn't do any of that. He's a researcher. Because he stays out of the politics, I guess he was unaware that he was not supposed to contact Tim Fasano. You see, and this is what really gets me about the community. This video that surfaced as a stand that you saw coming from the Huffington Post and from Bigfoot Evidence. This, as a standalone video, is extremely impressive and intriguing. And we are working, I say we, Daniel Perez and I, I've identified the individual. And I know where he lives. I have his address. And we've, I say we, we've made contact with him. And it's up to him. And what I mean by contact is just merely messaging. Uh, he, uh, there's been no verbal contact. It's up to him at this point if he wants to come forward. It may not be necessary because we do have his backstory on an email, on two emails and a, a telephone interview with the Huffington Post. But what I'm getting at, folks, is I would have thought the Bigfoot community when they saw that, would go, wow! And that was down in Florida? We're in Florida, Tampa, Florida. Let's see. Um, do we know anybody in the Bigfoot research game that that um, uh, is a field guy? Let's see. Tampa, Bigfoot, Tampa, field guy. Um, Tampa, Florida, somebody that gets out in the woods a lot, an extreme amount of time, and he's from Tampa. And he puts up videos, and we know about his race from Tampa. And, uh, gee, I don't, I don't know of anybody that is from Tampa. No one's contacted me. No one wants real information. I've informed Daniel Perez about the area, the history of the area, about the river, the floodplain, Hurricane Donna in 1960, and how they created the, the series of levees. And the, 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 the dock system out here to prevent the city itself from flooding. That was when there was nothing out here. Now civilization is encroaching. And as you know, animals, because they get encroached upon, they're territorial. That doesn't mean they pack their bags and just leave. So there is a lot going on. Right here, I'm just looking at wild, wild. And I am close to civilization. But... Florida is a very wild side, but if you're not in this state, you don't live here, you don't know anything about it, it would be like me trying to comment on the state of Maine. Okay? I don't know anything about Maine. I could go to Google Earth and zoom down on something, but would that make me an authority or an expert? I don't think so. But anyway, I'm very disappointed in the Bigfoot community because it, it just really underscores two things. One, no one really cares about research. Because if I can be blunt, everybody out there right now is tripping over their dicks trying to get on a, a reality TV show. Daniel Perez is doing research. Hell, I would have thought Lauren Coleman would have contacted me, but everybody in the political world, they don't want anything to do with me. Because I guess I do what they can't do or they won't do. And I'm not sure there's a difference. Tim out.